A danger to the community. That's what a judge is calling the man accused of stealing multiple cars and leading police on a high speed chase. Queen City News reporter Robin Kennedy is live at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. Robin, you've been in the courtroom this morning and we heard the suspect was very feisty, interrupting the judge and even had several outbursts. That's right, Casey. We were the only television station inside that courtroom this morning. Now, the judge was already going to increase the suspect's bond because he says he's a danger to the community. But just as the judge was reading off those increased bond amounts, the suspect interrupted the judge via video conference. The judge says the suspect used the F word and said, quote, F this. Now, take a look here at some video from Tyler Harding's arrest. This is on Wednesday after police say he and his sister, Krista Harding, who was also arrested, stole multiple cars and led CMPD on a high speed chase spanning two states and lasting hours. Prosecutors said in court this morning that Harding demonstrated that he doesn't care for anyone's safety in this community. The case started Wednesday morning when police say Harding broke into a house and stole a Jeep. Then later, once police tried to pull that Jeep over and Harding sped away, CMPD says he stole multiple cars after that and at one point was driving on the wrong side of the road, striking a car driven by a pregnant woman who was injured. Police said in another instance, Harding used force to try and pull another driver out of the car, and he even left his own sister behind to keep driving away from police. Now, Harding's bond was originally set at $115,000, but a judge today, this morning, after all of those interruptions actually during those interruptions he was already going to increase that bond to eight hundred thousand dollars those interruptions from harding continued and the judge even threatened to put harding in contempt of court this morning it was a wild morning in court casey and we'll be breaking everything down for you again coming up on queen city news starting at four today I'm live at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.